Welcome back and happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Um, this is an epic universe update right here on Theme Park Wizard. This is my Christmas and holiday present to you guys. So, I hope you enjoyed. And thank you to Bio Reconstruct for the lovely construction updates. As always, you just posted these photos just yesterday. So, this is fresh out of the oven. We're going to take a look at Epic Universe and all the four lands today. Not much of the hubs, which we did focus a lot on that last um, week. And there's not too much, too many changes, but a lot of changes in Super Nintendo World particularly. So, we're going to... Let's start our journey in the Dark Universe. We can see the Windmill Restaurant is getting more and more theming, some additional landscaping and trees, and the scaffold will be coming down probably in the next week or two for the Windmill it itself. You have a nice, nice outdoor patio area as well. Looking over at the Dark Manor here, you can see uh, just some scaffolding left at the center of the uh, facade, but the rest of it is all gone it's all done and it looks like the right um the right manor parcel has just a little bit of weathering and paint to go and then it should too be finished as well the top of the manor facade or the manor yeah manor building is all but done they're spinning on its topper piece which should look very gothic and you know, triangular as you can see right there the themed walls are just about complete they have um those spikes on the top of them uh, which as it serves a kind of a dual purpose one it prevents people from trying to climb up there and sit on it but also it adds to the very gothic look and just without that with that the bridge is complete can't wait to see the other cute details of this attraction the roofs of darkmoor village have begun to got some color they got the these are their final forms, or not, not actually not really final forms, they actually believe, believe wood there, so they should get, be, look much more gothic and stuff when they get their final layer, which is done. We can see the uh, walls have been painted that kind of garth, gothic dark color that you see on the manor as well, so very exciting to see this progress into next year. The Curse of the Railroad roller coaster continues to have its second and final show scene um, be roofs for that being installed. Can't wait to see that. Again, might be an animatronic in there or two. But that will be the final show scene, the final break run on route to the station and lots of landscaping in the middle of the queue as well. And that nice little snack shack by the exit to the uh, Frankenstein uh, Our Monsters Unchained attraction is uh, just about done. It even has a nice little chimney and kind of crooked type roof. Roof, and this would be a nice place to grab some snacks when you're done with the ride. Moving over to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, you can see these roofs have been done for a while, and they got more and more details, so specifically on those windows, each and every week. Looks absolutely fantastic. And looking at the portal, we saw on the last update the wand has been installed on top, which just looks so cool. But now they have those kind of gold and green accents. For the portal shield below, which look really cool. This whole golden, this whole land is like golden, kind of speaks, you know, 1850s Paris. It's really cool. I like this aesthetic, and I like how the main ride will still take place with the main Harry Potter characters. Here's an overview of the intersection of all the five sheets. Well, I'm sure there'll be some kind of statue or something, you know, some kind of central, you know, plaza type feel going on, because that is the, it's a, you know, it's a, the, like a town square there, but. See, a lot of more, a lot of the roofs have been finished, including that interior courtyard space, which we're actually going to look at right now. Here's some more roofs and facade where that potential restaurant and some more shops will be. And this interior Diagon Alley type courtyard space, which would be really cool. Just really exploring these things, because again, look at that cherry picker. You can't even see the bottom of it because these roofs or these buildings are about five stories tall. These facades are, they're massive. So this is going to look really cool, being filling like you're actually over here in Paris. Back to the facade or the entrance portal here, you can see there's the wand. There's the exit to the land where the little security booth is. And just like at Starfall Racers, they're getting their own little little you know pavement in their little uh, pavement in the structure uh, in the concrete right there. Can't speak today. But yeah, they're gonna each have their own little pavement, little decal at the entrance and exit to the land, kind of like marking like a little plaza and maybe there'll be like a statue right in the middle, uh, signifying where you are. Tons of steel for more rock work on top of these awesome how to train your dragon buildings and here over here in the Isle of Burke. And the bay is still filled with muddy water. 
and you can see the coaster swooping over the water and under the bridge there and with those themed walls already done lots of wood fake woodwork there it will look fantastic this particular building i believe is going to be a, a restaurant or a gift shop over here at the mead hall which looks more like splash mountains tree stump every and every day except a bit taller this thing is i can't wait to see the actual you know the theming when the you put the pieces on because it's gonna look really really cool and really imposing and really like the center centerpiece of the land of the yeah the whole land which should be pretty awesome and of course you can see the fire drill boat ride right behind there here's a little close look into mead hall you can see that's where the main entrance is going to be and they already are sculpting that rock work they have it the mesh already sculpted in the figures they're just going to put those rock chip pieces in there and this would be a really grand entrance to what could be a fantastic dining experience more trees and set pieces and more of the roof has been installed on the fire drill attraction um the roof over over the unloading and loading area that wooden structure there more some actual wooden pieces the covering is being installed over at the play area um which we haven't checked in in a while it looks just about complete they're just missing for C play equipment but there's um, one more wall that needs to be themed to look like rocks and there's the second launch of the coaster that already has moss on the top of it and this is where uh, rumored animatronic of toothless or hiccup or both of them will be as you launch into that second and final launch to finish off the rest of your coaster ride here's just a different shot of the mead hall and you can see, even see the theater has its roof painted black on the bottom corner there starful race is looking fantastic with its landscaping and just about done that portion of the ride is just about done all the way in the back and just an overview of the roller coaster the how to change dragon coaster itself Moving over to Super Nintendo World, look at the Mushroom Kingdom, lots of stuff has progressed here, yeah, a lot of that, you know, that drywall has been taken off with concrete replaced and looking more and more finished day by day, Include there's the Peach's Castle on the bottom of Peach's Castle where you can expect some meet and greets and maybe some games, everything is looking fantastic, this land was so intricate, especially, you know, it's an intricate in Hollywood, but it's is more as about as intricate as in Japan and even more so because it'll be slightly bigger with maybe some additional space for being great or an additional game or two. Looking at the portal for Super Nintendo World, that has not been fully finished yet, but you can expect it to have those kind of same decals, probably maybe like a green one to match the tone of Super Nintendo as you're going through the warp pipe. Then of course there'll be a whole bunch of warp pipes on top. You can see they're right now uh, grayed out, but they'll be different green, green, blue, black, all different colors as the portal gets installed and of course to take the escalator or elevator up to enter on the second level just like in Japan. Bowser's Castle is looking fantastic. You can see a lot more of the um, you know, castle kind of wall shapes coming in. Even the doorway entrance is making um, an appearance there. So you can kind of see the outline there. The All four tur turrets are being worked on. That's, the, that's what's under all that scaffolding right there. The exit to the attraction, Mayo Motors, is getting its entrance defined as well. Moving on over to uh, just an overview of Super Nintendo World. You can see the mountain beam poles all just about done. It's all uh, brown and green and just waiting for its flagpole. I wonder if the flagpole at Mountain Beam Pole will be bigger than the one here in Hollywood. It's already a little bit small, so I wonder if they'll make theirs a little bit bigger, but no matter if it's the same distance or not, or same size or not, You'll probably be able to get a better look at it because you just have a better vantage point when you come in on that second level uh, than you do here in Hollywood. And let's head on over to Donkey Kong. Moving on over to Donkey Kong Country. We didn't spend too much time on this last week, so I wanted to you know, really dive in this week. There's a lot more photos to really dive into and a lot more theming and stuff happening. See, where the waterfall will be is completely done. And you can see a lot of the temple theming has been installed on the, this side we're looking at here. But we're going to take a close look at the meet and greet areas and some of the track pieces and some of the theming on the other wall as well. You can see there's uh, the entrance to the second, or the massive show building right there to the bottom left right behind Mount Beanpole. Taking a look at that from this vantage point, you can see this is where the wheel be launched to the barrel into the show building for the first um, show scene there. And you'll have you see the temple theming or the scaffolding or steel for a temple theming has been solved that should be really start to ramp up in the next couple of months 
taking a close look at this meet and greet area, you can see this is becoming more well defined. This will be Donkey Kong's treehouse and go meet him. And a lot of the Kong, not just Donkey Kong, but all the uh, plenty of the Kongs you can go ahead and meet right there. This is also where you'll be jumping over the water if you're on the Donkey Kong coast. So this is be make for a pretty exciting and thrilling backdrop backdrop to the attraction and to the meet greet while you're waiting in line. Taking another look from the side, this is also where you'll be jumping over, I believe, the spikes. No, the spikes are somewhere else, but you'll be doing, going through another obstacle before you go through that water. And here's just another look at that meat beak. The water from the waterfall looks like it will be coming into that pool over there and kind of filtering into that uh, show scene there. So it'll be a nice little connected water feature that really will go through the entire land. Some more temple theming and really cracked, like ancient. Abandoned Temple Gaming has shown up right here before you enter into this new show scene um, here, which uh, looks pretty cool. I can't wait to see this extended. You can see there's a lot more already done, but over under scalp thing right now, so I can't wait to see that completely finished. And that is going to do it for this week's rather quick update. I have focused a lot on the hub last time, so I want to really focus on each land, especially Super Nintendo World and Donkey Kong Country, because I feel like, you know, those have gotten the lesser end of the coverage, my coverage, um, in the past couple of updates, so I really want to really give you a lot of shots of that. But I guys hope you have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday, and Happy New Year. Thank you guys for joining, uh, watching the channel. Consider joining a YouTube membership or my Patreon, patreon.com slash club722 if you want to support the channel going into the new year. Otherwise, just press that subscribe button and the like button. Share the video if you'd like. And thank you guys for watching. I cannot wait to want do more Epic Universe updates all of next year. Of course, go to the eventual opening in 2025. Stay tuned for Fast Furious Hollywood Drift updates when I get back from Las Vegas. But stay tuned for uh, Universal's Halloween Horror Nights updates as well. Or Ho Halloween, Halloween Horror Nights Unleashed in Vegas. As I'll be doing a construction update from that. And as always, have an epic day.